Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at some of the built-in functions in Mathematica. So let's open new notebook and here I'm going to discuss some of the built-in functions in Mathematica. So let's first start with square root. Let's say I have a number such as 25, so I'm going to find its square root. Okay, so it's going to be fairly easy. So let's start with square root and here I'm going to use 25. It's very easy, but still for the sake of simplicity, I am using that. Next thing, there is also one keyword known as pi. So it will simply generate the symbol when you use shift enter. Okay, you can also convert to degrees, minutes, seconds, or you can use a generic number instead. Okay, and let's say if you use a number and call for pi and into 4 or 2 and use shift enter, you get number. Okay, so you can also get number for using pi as is. Okay, you get. 3.14159 value okay now let's say if you want to calculate minimum maximum number out of a list you can do that too so let's create a list and here I'm going to start with some random numbers okay And from this list, I want to find out minimum and maximum. So min and then a list. Okay, so the minimum out of this list is 2. Now what about maximum from this list? So let's find that out. We use max as keyword for maximum, min for minimum. And the maximum from the list is 91. Okay, now the next thing is to round the value okay so we make use of round and inside that we simply add some number let's say 72 9874562111 okay close it and then shift enter and you get 73 you can also float the value and let's just copy this and for flooring we will find out okay so it will take you to the nearest value instead of upper increment okay now let's do shift enter and you find 72 similarly ceiling will give us 73 so let's find that out to ceiling and then number close it shift enter and you get 73 now what if I want to calculate factorial okay so I'm going to use factorial keyword and inside that I'm going to send my number as 14 okay shift enter and you get value for 14 you can similarly get 14 and this exclamation mark and shift enter and you get same value out of it so these are some of the typical built-in functions that you are going to check in Wolfram Mathematica. There are plenty of more that you can find in documentation. So I suggest you to check those documentation for more functions.